With prom season here, parents have been making a date to meet with me to discuss their concerns that their teen's close relationship with someone else may be turning into an unhealthy one, and whether their teen might be a victim of teen dating violence. Well, first, teen dating violence is not just about physical violence. It can also involve being yelled at, put down, threatened, or being over-controlled or bullied by a partner. It's also important to know that teen dating violence occurs to teens from all cultures and income levels and is not limited to families with a history of violence. It's also not just about girls, but boys too can be victims and an abusive situation can occur in any type of relationship and at any time in the relationship. Sadly, many teens don't talk about the violence they're experiencing in a relationship because they're embarrassed, they feel it's their fault, or they don't even realize it's abuse. They worry they'll be forced to break up by their parents when they still think they can fix the situation, although that rarely occurs, or that they'll be left alone without friends. So how can you tell if your teen is being victimized? You may see their grades start to go down. They appear more anxious or depressed. Some may have bruises or scratches that are not easily explained. They're having trouble eating or sleeping or turn to tobacco, alcohol, and other risk-taking drugs. What can parents do? Well, you can start early by teaching your children about respect both for themselves and for others, even before your child is interested in a romantic relationship with someone. Allow your child to talk about what's going on at school without interrupting except to say you're there to help and not to judge. Focus on your child's safety and self-esteem. It's important to reinforce that you care about what happens to your teen. You love him or her and you want to help and that the abuse is not their fault no matter how guilty they're being made to feel. If your teen doesn't want to talk with you, suggest another trusted adult that they might want to talk with, such as a school guidance counselor, teacher, healthcare professional, or even the police could be helpful. If your teen does want to break up, develop a safety plan with them ahead of time, such as always traveling with friends or even changing course schedules. And be supportive of that decision, stressing how important it is for that breakup to be definite and final, so that hopefully tips like this will be easy ones to relate to when it comes to helping your teen deal with a potentially abusive relationship. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.